Jolly Roger. Today we vlog at 857. <laughs> well, good morning. It's Tuesday, really early. I'm covered in about eight gazillion layers because it's both cold but not so cold to wear your winter jacket. But also need to be rain protected but also uh, so anywho oh yeah gotta wear a collar too because I'm going to the Indian consular services today to ask them to give me a tourist visa because you need one of those to go to India it turns out and also Sonia wanted to meet earlier than God intended man to wake up so meeting her first and, uh, yeah hopefully there's good copy of this new place she's introducing me to let's find out shower. Uh -huh. go from being like frozen outside to roasting inside the metro. Although when you're packed with that many people, it's bound to happen. Whew. Unzip everything, open everything up and try to like not roast and then freeze as soon as you step outside. It's, this is why Will Ferrell confessed to having troubles dressing for inclement weather in Stranger Than Fiction, I think. I don't know. Maybe we all struggle with it. Maybe just a few of us do. Anywho, I'm ready for some coffee. Good coffee time with Sonia. She's launching another book, which she's ridiculously prolific. Uh, my plan is to go to the launch of that on Saturday. It's a book about Serbian women scientists, and it's wonderful. And uh, I don't know, I'm just looking forward to supporting her as she launches that. So hopefully we'll go check that out on Saturday. But before that happens, we have Thanksgiving. And people keep asking me what we do for Thanksgiving here in Paris, and the answer is we, we figure it out as best we can. They don't have a space in their ovens for turkeys here, so. We'll talk about that later for now. And you go to the Indian consulate services or consulate or whatever before they close down and stop accepting applications for the day. Because I sat and hung out with Sonia for a nice long time and I'm running just as such late. So let's go. here at the address but how do you get in well I can't find the entrance and uh, there's no phone number listed I have to I have to I can probably find that phone number if I dig a little bit harder but I'm running out of time <laughs> Well, I got in this far, only to realize that Google Maps has the address incorrect. <laughs> Where I wouldn't be able to get out. It's across the street, somewhere. 42 to 44, it's over here. And of course they needed documentation that wasn't listed on the website. This is just the way it always goes. So I either got to figure out a way to do some printing and I got to, I probably need to come back tomorrow. You try to go home and get it all printed up at least. Ah, but I need lunch, I need food. Ah, oh, nothing's ever straightforward or easy in this country. Or I mean, probably anywhere. It's just life, let's be honest. I need food. Unintended bonus though. I'm not gonna lie, I need a toilet more than food right now, so, uh, and this is the first thing that's looked good. No, I just gotta go. Pull on me, okay. Bonjour, vous êtes ouvert ou? Pas encore. Pas encore? The ultimate sticker bathroom. Anyways, they uh, 
don't open for another 15 minutes, which makes sense. It's not quite, not quite new. Wandering into an unfortunate middle ground, but this place has a really cool vibe. I like it. I will stay. I feel like now that I've used their toilet, I owe them my lunch business, and I'm also really hungry. So, you know, good combo. All right, lunched. Now I need to go home and, uh, and work. I'm gonna try them again tomorrow. I'm gonna try the consulate tomorrow because she says that I can come back in the afternoon for the hour and a half that they're open again. But uh, the website specifically says they won't accept new applications after noon. So I don't know that I wanna take that chance. I'll come back first thing tomorrow. No morning meetings, just going straight there. We'll get it done. I have a lot of work to catch up on my computer and I don't wanna stay out any longer. It's nice that I actually want to go home now. It's a good sign. Because the chateaus really come together. And I also gotta find out if the radiator guy came and broke my uh, radiator and flooded my room and made my life hell. Well, not my life, but just kind of ruined my room. I don't think that happened, but you never know. I don't know if he uh, came or not. Oh yeah, he must have, because he rubbed all of the paint off the end of that thing. Okay, I'll find out what that means soon enough. Hopefully it means, you know, I'll have control. The reason that the radiator guy was coming, I don't know if I explained this, my radiator, um, in all the years that I've lived here, or stayed here on vacation when I wasn't living here, whatever, I've had no control over the radiator at all. Like where there's supposed to be a knob where you can twist it, there's nothing. So I've, it's just always been on full blast, which is better than having no heat uh, in the winter, but it's definitely way too much. And the only ventilation I have is the window. So I always have to have the window open so you have cold air coming in, hot hotness coming off. And yeah, so hopefully he's gonna actually uh, repair that or add the whatever he needs to add to it. Find out what that looks like here soon enough. But my room's not flooded, so that's a win. I'm, I, I'm gonna take a nap with my cozy nap blanket now. Oh. <laughs> Not sure if I explained that uh, one of my goals for today, one of my tasks was to help my landlady get sheets to cover her couches and stuff while she's away from town. She just found out that uh, they've not been covered in like five years. She thought they'd been being covered whenever she wasn't in town. So I'm out to find more sheets because the sheets that used to be dedicated to that purpose have mysteriously disappeared. Who knows, maybe there are squirrels. But in the meantime, just went to a place that was a little bit too nice, a little too expensive. I'm gonna head to Monoprix, hopefully buy them out. And then there's another place down the street that she suggested I give a try. We'll see what we can do. They're gonna wonder if I'm like starting a hotel or something because I'm gonna be buying like 15 duvet covers or sheets or whatever I can find. See how this goes. Monoprix prices checked. Now I gotta go to this last place that she recommended between the three. The first one's definitely out. That one I could get everything I needed, but it's a little more expensive than expected, or hoped at least. Check out this last place. I'm guessing it's not gonna be any cheaper. We'll find out and then head back. There's another Monoprix over there, two of them. Well, if I buy one out, at least I know there's another one. No way this is cheaper. Although, I don't understand what, the, there's a deal going on of some sort. Yeah, way too expensive. That lady was really nice though. So she gave me a couple more ideas. I think I know exactly what I'm gonna do. And then head back. Whew. That's my whole story. I'm, I'm learning a lot about buying home goods in France at least. This is, you know, beneficial for me because I suck at shopping in France. Because I never shop. Because guess who doesn't buy stuff? This guy, hopefully that's changing. But this guy, okay, here we go. All right, I had a phone call and I'm headed back out. We are roughly three big sheets short. Those discounted sheets, man, they're like king size sheets, it's great. So basically we need one more big one and four small ones, or three big ones, because two of those can become small ones. That's the plan at least. I don't know if I'm done sheet hunting, but I'm learning some vocabulary today. Dra, for example. I knew that, but I, I didn't know that I, that's what I was asking for was dra. Um, yeah, that's it for now. I don't know. I, there were other things that I learned, right? But I'm, I haven't eaten either, and I can't think. It's a ghost. It's a ghost living room now. Oh, my flowers and sheets. <laughs> <laughs> One more project. She offered to launder the drapes. 
before uh, she leaves because she has like a big bathtub and she can just soak them, which would be great because they're filthy. I just don't know if I can reach them. I, I just grabbed the ladder from downstairs. I don't think it's gonna be tall enough. I'm just gonna do before and after on this one because I am starving and I've been running around buying sheets for the last few hours and I just, I just, I just want this over with. <laughs> I believe I am now tall enough to take down the drapes. This is gonna, this, this might actually not be very difficult. Ew. Ugh. <laughs> they kind of have to rest my bed seven times each because they are filthy. They are filthy, that is true. But they'll be beautiful soon. I don't, I don't know, I hope so. <laughs> they'll be, they'll be a shade, they'll be a shade yeah, closer yeah, to white they, at they, least. They, they, 